Hey guys, what's going on? Sherman here. I'm going to be reviewing a knife that I've been carrying for the past few weeks now as my primary EDC. Outstanding knife. This is the Benchmade 707 sequel. And I got this from the knife supplier Knife Hog. They sent this to me to review. And this is also my first review as, a, as an official partner with Knife Hog. Uh, I will do a video in the near future explaining that in better detail. Uh, but basically, I'm going to be partnering with them, and they're going to be sending me uh, a lot more knives than I could get on my own to do reviews of. Now, nothing is changing. My review formula, how I review my style, my non-bias opinion, that's going to be completely the same. Nothing is going to be changing in my reviews. So, no worries there. I'm just going to be able to get a hold of some knives, you know, that I wouldn't normally be able to get a hold of. So, that is awesome. So, that, that would explain some of the branding in this video. Uh, like I said, nothing is changing. Don't worry. But anyway, this is the Benchmade 707 sequel. Outstanding EDC blade. Um, I've been wanting to try this for a couple of years. I've been wanting to pick one of these up. Just never pulled the trigger. I'm just like, oh, it's kind of average looking. I, I, I just don't know. Um, now I'm kind of beating myself up <laughs> for not picking this up sooner. This is an outstanding knife. Um, I'm going to go over the technical specs with you guys real quick. Uh, the overall length of this knife is six and three quarter inches. You can see it is rather small. Just a nice little minimalist size, I guess you could say. Uh, the blade length is 2.95 inches, so right under three inches, which is going to get under a lot of your, your state's knife laws. I know a lot of states have a three inch blade limit. I know here in Atlanta they do. Uh, they, or the city of Atlanta, have, I believe, has a three inch blade limit. Um, a lot of states do. It's either usually going to be three or four or not at all. But anyway, it's going to get under a lot of your state's knife laws, so that's cool. Uh, the weight on this knife is 2.6 ounces, which is partially due to the fact that it is uh, aluminum scales and G10 inlays. So if you're a weight guy, you know if you're if you're if you obsess about knife weights, this is going to be the knife for you. This is incredibly light. I'm going to do a quick size comparison for you guys, comparing this to a couple of other uh, common knives. Uh, I'm going to compare it next to another Benchmade knife, very popular, the 940. Do like Jim Skelton does, do the butt to butt. Got that, you can see the size difference. The 940 is larger. And I'm going to compare it to a Kershaw Cryo. And these two are almost the exact same size. Just take the 940 out of here. So if you have a cryo, you can that's what you can expect from the sequel. It's almost the exact same size. The cryo is a little bit bigger in, in uh, this dimension, and it is also a lot heavier. I wouldn't say a lot, but it's it's heavier by about one ounce, maybe even more. All right, so just getting into more of the specs of this knife, it does have a 6061. T6 anodized aluminum handle scales with G10 inlays, which looks really cool. It really sets this knife apart. Um, it doesn't really feel like G10, but it says on the Benchmade site that it is, so I'm just going to take their word for it. It feels more like an FRN or like a Zytel. You can see it even sounds, it's almost like, a, it feels like resin. It doesn't really feel like G10. But it looks cool. Like I said, it sets it apart. They've made some limited edition models that have carbon fiber instead of G10, which look really cool. But, you know, like I said, it sets it apart a little bit. And on this side, the pocket clip does not cover it. So that's pretty cool. You know, even if it was aggressive, it wouldn't be an issue because Benchmade thinks. So that's cool. Of course, an access, access lock. It does have a Zytel backspacer. You have the two screws. I'd prefer it to be standoffs, but it's not a big deal. Kind of, you know, they went with only two, so that's pretty cool. Um, it's got the Bradley Alias Split Arrow Clip, which I'm a big fan of. I like that more than the standard Benchmade clips. But you can put a regular Benchmade clip on there, like from the 940. Just a standard Benchmade clip will pop right on there, no big deal. Um, but it's the black oxide coated, which I like. The, har the hardware is also black oxide coated. The pocket clip is reversible, left to right hand, tip up only, which I prefer tip up carry, so that's not an issue. But completely ambidextrous knife, like most Benchmades, 
because the access lock is of course ambidextrous. You got the ambidextrous thumb studs and reversible pocket clip. So that's great for you lefties out there because you're you're kind of excluded in a lot of knife designs, which is sad. Uh, let's take a look at the blade. Look at that rocket out of there. Uh, the blade is an awesome shape and design. I love it. It looks kind of funky at first because the blade in most it, for the most part is wider this way than most of the handle. So it's pretty much all blade here, which is pretty cool. I like the way it looks. Some people might not. Um, it is very different, but you know, I like it because the, the handle has that deep choil, that deep cutout, kind of like the Contigo design, but I really like it. And it also the handle to blade ratio is awesome. I know that's an issue with a lot of people. A lot of people don't like the shorter blade, longer handle thing like the paramilitary two has. They pretty much utilize every bit of this handle. If that's an issue for you, uh, you know, this, the, the, they used up all the handle they could with this knife. Uh, the blade steel on this is 154 cm, par for the course for Benchmade. I like Benchmade's 154, some people don't, but I like it. Let's see, it's McHenry and Williams design, like the 710. Just kind of proof that I've been carrying this for a while. You got the lint built up in there in between the thumb stud and the handles, the scales. Uh, the liners are stainless steel, they're 410 stainless, and they are milled out. So they're skeletonized liners. Here again, just reducing even more weight, which is cool. Even though it has aluminum scales and G10 inlays, they just went that extra mile to make it as light as possible. So you got that. Uh, you do have some jimping up top here, which is nice. It's kind of uh, it's kind of rounded, but you can get your thumb in there. It, it adds a little bit of traction. Uh, the, the, the aluminum scales, though, they have that kind of chalky texture to them. Uh, which I love. So that's going to add some traction also. You know, if your hands are, are wet with water, sweat, blood, whatever, that's not an issue. It, it adds a lot of traction, actually. And uh, Cutlery Lover mentioned in his review that when you're holding it, your fingertips kind of dig into that inlay and it kind of adds a little bit of traction. Uh, it does kind of. Uh, I wouldn't miss it. I wouldn't miss it if the inlays weren't there in terms of traction, but they look cool, so I'm glad that they are there. But... But yeah, you do have some jimping up top here with a little bit of a thumb ramp, which is nice. And you do have some jimping down here in the finger choil. Same kind of jimping, and it goes into this almost little forward finger choil, but it's not. I wouldn't put my finger there. So it's almost like the little extended ricasso. So since it does have that ricasso, you can sharpen the full edge, which is nice. A lot of knife, a lot of knife designs overlook that. Um, but yeah, you do have some jimping. It's cool. I like it. It may not be that functional, but they did it. Um, so back to the blade though, very nice drop point design with that awesome swedge up top, which is going to give your tip a little bit more strength. But love the blade design, came hair shaving sharp right out of the box. Benchmade has really been improving their edges lately that I've noticed. Flat ground. And uh, something else that I noticed, is I don't think it's really described and I don't think it's noted in the description of this knife, uh, but the blade is two-tone. You can see the, the grinds here and the swedge up top are both very lightly stonewashed. You guys will be able to see. Lightly stonewashed and then the flats are satin finished. I don't know if you guys will be able to notice, but very subtle, very subtle touch, but I think it's very cool. It, it does give it a nice touch. And I really like that. Like I said, I love the blade shape and design. And it's even better that it's hair shaving sharp. So that's nice. Handle ergonomics are, I think, great. And I have larger size hands. Uh, it, is a, it is a small knife, so it's not a whole lot to grab onto. But you can put your thumb on that thumb ramp, your fingers in that nice choil. It's not even really a dedicated finger choil. It's just a very deep, just a uh, palm cutout or finger cutout there. And it does kind of terminate into a finger choil to keep your finger from rising, from uh, going forward. So that's good in case you're doing some really aggressive cutting. Uh, but when you're holding it, you know, you got your thumb on the thumb ramp. Now that's how it looks in my hand. So it doesn't, you can get a full four finger grip. A little half of the pinky there. But of course, if you choke up and put your thumb on the spine of the blade and almost do it, or if, even if you do a hammer grip, you can do some aggressive cutting that way, then uh, you do have a little bit of 
uh, handle protruding there. So it's not diminutive. It's 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 small, but it's not too small. At least not for my hands. Reverse grip looks good. In case you had to use this defensively. Uh, the, but like I said, the ergonomics for me are good. For just a small knife, you know, you know what to expect. And the 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 edges are not chamfered, but they're rounded. So it's just there's no rough edges there. So that's nice. Pocket clip doesn't dig into your hand when you're grabbing the knife. So ergonomics are good. So the action is outstanding. It's what you can expect from a Benchmade. Um, the detent is awesome. I noticed that the detent on smaller Benchmade access locking knives are better uh, than the heavier knives. It's just nature of the beast. So that's awesome. So you get a good pressure built up with that awesome thumb stud. Benchmade does thumb studs right. Or thumb studs? Thumb studs right. You have that terrorist design, not terrorist. But terrorist, where you have those little, the little uh, tapered shelves, basically, gives your the fat of your thumb something to dig into. But it just rockets out of the handle. Awesome action on this knife. It deploys every time. You almost can't make it not deploy. And of course, it just goes back in the handle, buttery smooth. Like I have not had to adjust the action at all. I have not adjusted the pivot since I opened this knife or took this knife out of the box. Just buttery smooth. And I've heard a couple of people, a cutlery lover including, included, that said that their 707 was the smoothest bench made they've ever owned. And it's not the smoothest. My 940 is a little bit smoother. Um, but it is probably the second smoothest bench made I've owned. It's just buttery smooth. Right out of the box. And uh, the lockup is rock solid. Side to side, rock solid, up and down, rock solid. But even if it was not, that's another cool thing about the access lock is that it's self-correcting. You know, if you have a little bit of slop in there, uh, after a while, it will the, the lock will settle in and you will have no more play, which is really cool. One of the only locks that does that. Let me just give you guys another look. Love the blade shape. See how thick it is. The, the stock is pretty thin, the blade stock, which is nice. So it makes this a nice slicer. Just an excellent EDC blade, guys. Like I said, it is so lightweight, slim, and small that you can throw this in you know swim trunk style shorts. Because you know in the summertime I try to carry smaller knives because you know your shorts are kind of a lighter, thinner material. So anything you carry in your shorts are just going to flop all around because the pockets aren't very stiff like jeans. But this is perfect for that if you're wearing like swim trunks with the, with the pockets or, you know, thinner material short. That's perfect. Um, you don't have problem taking this knife uh, out of the pocket or putting it back on. Uh, the, it is very secure on the pocket, by the way, because the pocket clip is resting on that kind of chalky finished aluminum. So it's nice, but it, it does not... It does not abrade your pants pocket material at all, uh, which is great because a lot of knives now are super aggressive, you know, super aggressive G10 and, you know, they tear up your pockets. Uh, this does not, it's the perfect amount of retention. Uh, but like I said, it's the perfect summer carry knife. I don't know about you guys, but in the summer, you know, like I was just saying, I carry kind of minim more minimalistic because uh, you're, you are really limited to what you can carry in your shorts, comfortably anyway. At least I am. I don't know about you guys. So this is the perfect knife for that. Um, definitely worth checking out, guys. The price point on this, I've looked in a couple of different places. Um, the best price I could find is about $140. I'm sure you can find it a little bit cheaper than that. I've seen it a little bit more expensive than that. Uh, but Knife Hog has it on their site for $140. And uh, Blade HQ has it for $140. I think I saw a Knife Center for $140. So that seems to be the going price for this knife. Uh, but anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this review. If you have any questions, please leave them down in the comments box. Definitely check this knife out on Knife Hog. I'll put a link in the description to their site where you can pick this knife up at. All right, guys, hope you have a great rest of your day. Stay safe, stay sharp, and God bless. Sherman614, peace.